We have more uh, big news coming in. Israeli diplomat has been stabbed in China. Well, that's uh, big news as we hear. Uh, we see a lot of uh, re reactions and this war really resonating in different parts of the globe. As Israeli tourists in Egypt were killed, gunned down by a cop, we hear now an Israeli diplomat has been stabbed in China. One should remember, of course, uh, this is still uncertain whether... Uh, the diplomat has come on official visit or was he a tourist in China but from what we hear now Israeli diplomat has been hospital hospitalized right after he was stabbed really China has not come out strongly condemning this war or uh, condemning Hamas the terror group it's been rather silent on this entire uh, hor horrific uh, war and barbaric acts of crime that Hamas has carried out on Israeli civilians. And now we hear an Israeli diplomat has been stabbed in China. This is a confirmation coming in from the foreign ministry. Israeli diplomat in China stabbed in possible terror attack. Diplomat's condition is believed to be stable with Israeli foreign ministry confirming the attack. Says diplomat is being treated in a hospital. His condition is now stable. Abhishek Balla with us uh, with a lot more information on that. He's going to be uh, joining us. But for what we hear, China has so far not condemned this attack the way it should, has not really called out the Hamas terror group. They've been rather silent and it's, it's well established the relations uh, between uh, China and some parts of the Arab world. And what we see here is an Israeli diplomat who's been stabbed in China. Now, whether this diplomat was an official tour or whether he was a tourist in China is yet to be established, but he was repeatedly stabbed and he's now been taken to the hospital. It's, it's certain now that this war between Israel and Hamas terrorists has far-reaching repercussions and effects. It's resonated in different parts of the world in different ways. Uh, we saw very recently in Egypt, an Egyptian police officer opened fire at a group of Isra Israeli tourists. And unfortunately, seven tourists were killed along with one Egyptian uh, himself. And here we see another attack on an Israeli diplomat that's happened in China. Abhishek Bhalla joining us for more on that. Abhishek, tell us more if this was a targeted attack on the Israeli diplomat. Can't think of anything else here. Well, extremely serious uh, situation, an Israeli diplomat being uh, attacked uh, in China and uh, in fact uh, uh, Israel saying that this could uh, possibly be a terror attack. It could have terror links. Uh, very sketchy details. Uh, the incident has happened uh, in uh, Beijing and uh, uh, initial reports suggest that uh, the diplomat uh, has been taken to hospital. He's stable, uh, but uh, extremely, uh, you know, scary uh, considering the situation uh, that is there in Israel right now. Uh, if uh, it has, uh, you know, such kinds of uh, ca kind of a rippling effect in other countries and Israelis are going to be attacked, uh, then of course, uh, very, very grave uh, uh, situation. Uh, the, 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 there are concerns about uh, Israelis uh, living outside the country, their own country as well. And that's what uh, makes the situation extremely serious. You know, so it's quite clear that this war has had far-reaching effects and the way it's, uh, it's uh, acting out, many of the people are divided uh, in support of either Israelis, which we're seeing a larger uh, chunk of the countries who are coming out uh, and unequivocally condemning this terror strike by Hamas uh, terror group. But you have also a lot of uh, Palestinian sympathizers and many of them almost justifying the attacks from the terror group of Hamas. And this attack on the Israeli diplomat in China could be one such sympathizer uh, uh, of Israel, of uh, Palestine. Well, uh, the, the, the danger of lone wolf terror is uh, something that is uh, often uh, spoken about. Uh, and uh, perhaps, you know, cases like these are classic examples of uh, a lone wolf uh, terrorists. Uh, they are not part of any organization. Uh, they, are, they are not part of uh, any recruitment drive uh, that takes place. And uh, they are mostly uh, self-radicalized, uh, self-motivated. And uh, that's why, uh, you know, these kind of uh, lone wolf uh, characters 
uh, can be extremely dangerous. We don't want to speculate what the exact details are. Uh, very uh, sketchy information has come out uh, uh, from Israel. Uh, the confirmation being that uh, a diplomat in Beijing has been attacked. He's been taken to hospital. Uh, but yes, it, it des definitely raises uh, big concerns about the security of Israelis in other countries as well. In fact, there were reports that uh, a lot of Israeli tourists who were in India uh, were wanting to get back immediately uh, to their own country. So even, that, even though their country is uh, going through war, uh, there, there are several people in different countries who perhaps uh, would want to be back in the comfort of their homes because uh, considering how uh, volatile uh, the situation is you never know which sympathizer uh, of uh, palestinian groups like hamas can be uh, present in any other country and uh, could be a danger to israelis living there well um and I'm sure many of them wanting to go back home, even to be with their families in this hour of crisis. Uh, many of their family, many of them have lost their uh, beloveds at the hands of the Hamas terrorists. And we believe that this uh, diplomat has been working with the embassy, the Israeli embassy in China. So there's been no protection uh, that, that's been given to the Israeli embassy in Beijing. Uh, we believe this attack has happened this morning. And yet the, bag, the background of this attack, how it's happened is unclear, but he was uh, stabbed in it. Or, and you rightly said a lone wolf attack where the man has come right at him. So it was a targeted attack at this Israeli diplomat. Uh, and right at a time like this, we haven't heard from China strongly condemning this Ham Hamas terror strike. Well, Nabila, it's difficult to say what the motive of uh, this attack was, uh, uh, but the fact that uh, Israel is saying that uh, they, this could possibly be a terror attack uh, says a lot. Uh, but, but really, it's difficult to uh, you know pinpoint uh, what was the motivation who uh, this man was uh, who carried out this this, uh, this attack. Uh, perhaps we'll have to wait uh, a little while uh, for the Chinese authority. Uh, to uh, give more details whether this uh, person has been apprehended, whether he's in custody or not. All these details, once they come out, we'll know more about uh, this attack on uh, the Israeli diplomat in Beijing. Right. Well, uh, it's highly unfortunate. Uh, we see that there, there are far-reaching effects of the war between Israel and Palestine in the latest uh, an Israeli diplomat has been stabbed in China's Beijing. A diplomat working with the Israeli embassy in Beijing has been attacked. He's been taken, rushed to the hospital. His condition is currently stable. But these are uh, the kind of fallouts uh, that we're seeing of this war between Israel and Palestine. At least the Hamas terror group there hijacking the Palestine cause, really uh, attacking civilians in Israel. Israel's counter-strike now. Uh, many of the innocent Palestinians uh, being attacked in this crossfire. So this war itself has had far-reaching effects with reactions coming in from all over the globe and some of them fatal of this kind. Thanks, Abhishek, for joining us for more on that.